What is up guys, in today's video we're going to be going over how we can create a password checker that actually goes ahead and checks how strong our passwords are. And to demonstrate we have a simple text view, an edit text right here, and we're going to also have an indicator that tells us how strong our password is. So if we decide to go ahead and type something such as apple123, it's going to be considered weak until we add a symbol such as a question mark. Then it's going to say, hey, it's strong enough. But let's also go ahead and pretend the password is shorter. So app one, two, three, question mark. It's going to be considered weak because I also specified it must have at least eight characters. But if we add two exclamation marks, it's going to be okay. Now, the final thing is what if we add a letter that's not uppercase, which I do not know how to do. Now, the final thing is what if we add a letter that is not uppercase and type in apple one, two, three, exclamation mark the password checker is going to say it's still weak because we did not add an uppercase letter. So it's a very simple project that will help you get started with Swift and some of the logic you will use someday to create a password checker. But that's what we will be making. So let's go ahead and get started immediately by creating a new project with Shift Command plus N. And it's going to be a normal app. We will call it Password Checker and click on Next. Then we will create this project in a folder. Next, we will close the sidebar and the other sidebar because we will not be using those two sidebars. And we will click on iPhone 13 and start the emulator. Now, the first thing we have to do is go ahead and create two states. So the first state is going to be a variable of password. And that's going to be of type string, which will be equal to nothing initially. Then we can go ahead and create another state variable, which is going to have a name of password strength. And that's going to initially be set as an integer to zero. Next, we're going to go ahead and write the logic for checking the password. So this is going to be a function, which is going to be called check strength. And it's going to have one parameter. And since we do not want to provide the parameter name, just to make things look a bit cleaner, we're going to add an underscore and type in password, which will be of type string. And this will return an integer. Now, first we want to go ahead and get the password length because we want it to be of at least eight characters and this will equal password dot count. Next we're going to create a variable called contains symbol and that's going to be set initially to false followed by a variable that says contains uppercase which will also be set to false initially. Now the logic is going to be quite simple. We have to go ahead and check for each character that's in the password we've provided we need to check if it's inside first the uppercase alphabet. So I actually went ahead and wrote it beforehand. So I'm just going to paste that inside there. So we're going to check if this string contains the current character. That means we have an uppercase letter. And that means we can also set contains uppercase to be true. And we're going to do the same thing for the punctuation. So if whatever punctuation you want to check. And I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste what I had earlier. If this string contains a character from our password, we're going to go ahead and first fix contain symbol to contain symbol. And then we're going to go ahead and set that to true as well. Finally, outside of this for loop, we can go ahead and check if the password length is more than eight and it contains a symbol and it contains an uppercase letter, then we can return either a string that says good job or we can return one which says it is a success and it is in fact a good password. Else, we're just going to go ahead and return zero which says the password's not good enough so we will not return it. And as always, I forgot to specify the return type at the top and it's going to be of type integer. So now if we update the preview, nothing's going to change, but the errors are going to go away. So the next thing to do is to apply all of this inside the body. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and highlight that and hold command and click on it so we can wrap it in a V stack, which is a vertical stack. And the first thing we should write is how strong is your password? question mark then we want to specify a text field and inside here we're going to type in enter your password 
and the text is going to be the binding variable of password. And I also want to provide a text field style, which is going to be of dot rounded border and give it a frame with a width of 250. Below that, we're going to go ahead and check if check strength, which is our password function of password is equal to zero. That means the password was weak and it was a failure. So inside here, we're going to create a text which says weak and it's going to have a foreground caller of caller.red just to show the user they did something bad. And it's going to have a font of dot system with a size of 30. And we want to add some padding to that. So this is what happens if the password fails, if it's too weak for the system. We return zero and it provides this view. Else, we're going to go ahead and write that it has been a success. So just go ahead and copy and paste this. And we're going to say strong. But of course, we need to change the color to green. So the user knows they did something good. Now, if we go ahead and run this program on a real phone, we can actually go ahead and test it with any password we please. We can go and type in Apple 908 exclamation mark uppercase X or C and it's going to be considered a strong password but if we just write something such as hello one two three it's not going to like that and if we add an exclamation mark it's going to think it's strong but we can write some very long passwords and it's not going to think it's strong until we add an exclamation mark an uppercase letter and whatever else we specify so that just about covers the app we created today and as always guys thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next lesson